Hi, I'm going to show you how to change your air filter and spark plugs on a Triumph Street Triple. This is a 2014 model. First of all, undo the two bolts near your steering head and lift your tank. It's fairly straightforward, just lift it up. But first, you need to unscrew your airbox. I've we'll sped up the video here, as you can see, each of the bolts needs loosening. Get a good socket set. Unscrew all those, make sure you find, you find them all. There's a few hidden. They come off fairly easily. Store them somewhere on a tray on the floor, and then you won't lose them. It did take, oh, didn't take long, and none of them were that tight. Make sure you disconnect that connector as well, there's an electrical connector there. And you may need an extension for your, your ratchet. This one was a bit fiddly. Took me a little bit of time just to ease it out without damaging anything. And then I just check it's loose, make sure I haven't missed a, a bolt anywhere. So just check you've got all the bolts removed. I'll just show you where they all are. At the front there, down the sides. A couple around here, they're a bit more awkward to get to, but nothing too difficult. They're slightly longer. There's the connector. There you go. So they're all out. Should be loose enough. Then take the air filter top off. And there's the air filter. Just showing you, just make sure you put it back, the new one, or put this one back the same way you took it out. So I usually just point on the video just so I know which way it came out. And there's a, a connector, disconnect the connector from the lid so then you can put it on the floor. Remember there's uh, an internal connector and external connector. It's best to remind yourself of those so when you put it back you don't forget them. And then there's a, a load of electronics stuck to the front with a couple of bolts, so make sure you take those off so you can move that out of the way. Because if not, when you take the bottom of the air filter, or the air box off, you won't be able to get underneath to the spark plug, so you just need them off. Now we need to remove the bottom of the air box. There's one big, one big nut there, so get that out. That was a bit tighter than some of the others, but only hand tight. As you can see, nothing so far has been too difficult. Now we need to take out these other six bolts, which are slightly different heads, so you need an Allen key for that. And what I do is take them out carefully and then store them in the same order that they went in. They, they were in, just so I put them back the same place. Just take a little, little bit of time. Don't drop anything inside, because that wouldn't be very helpful. go, take the top off, I kept the bolts actually in there so that just made it even easier, two of them go one way, one goes the other, you'll, you'll notice when you take them out. As you can see this is in real time so it doesn't take very long. These things are always easier if you see someone doing it. Once you've seen someone doing it, you'll find that it's a lot easier than guessing on the way. And for those of you who haven't done this before at home, you could absolutely do it with a decent socket set, some Allen keys, and just buy the parts. Why would you pay someone else to do this when you can do it yourself? You just got to be a brave if you haven't done it before. 
There you go. So there's those three off. Now, now this may seem a little bit tight, but you just need to wiggle it a little. It's been there a while, so clearly you just need to um, make sure that you can pull it out. There's a rubber bit that goes through to the front towards the head, um, and when you, you may need to push that out a bit to help yourselves. But just just do it carefully. Nothing too stressful. But you'll see as I lift this, there's a couple of pipes connected to it. So you need to take them off. Them off and push that rubber through, as you can see here. And then that should lift up, as you can see. So it'll be fiddly when we put it back in, but nothing too difficult. Now each of these uh, hoses is a clip on, so you'll need a pair of pliers or some hose, hose clips. I've just done it with a pair of pliers here. When I put it back on, I'll use hose clips, but no, it took me two or three attempts just to clip those down because they're just awkward. And once you've clipped it and pushed the clip down, you can pull the pipe off. And they'll be on quite tight, so don't be afraid to give it a bit of a yank. There you go. That's the bottom of the ear box lifted. And now we can get to the spark plugs underneath. Take this rubber bit out because you know we'll have to put that back later, but just take it out and make sure you've got enough space to get to everything. So identify where your three coil packs are that sit on the top top of the spark plugs. There's one, there's two, there's three. Those connectors come off, you just go, they're a bit fiddly, you just push the plastic down and pull them back. So you take the wire connectors off. And then if you look here, you can see uh, right in the middle there, there's a, a metal bracket that's in the way of the middle one. So we'll take that off now, just so we can get the spark plugs out easily. Not fiddly, but you just need, it's just another thing you need to do. So here you go, take those out. Now these are quite a challenge to pop out. Um, some come out easily, some diff diff more difficult because of the suction. So I saw a trick on someone else's video who was doing some spark plugs. Um, they used a, a, either a cable tie or a piece of wire and you hook it underneath and then just give it a bit of a yank. So just wrap it round and give it a yank and that will come out. So I did that. I had to do that to two of these three. The middle one was easy. The other two were fairly, mm. fairly difficult. So hook the wire underneath the plastic and just pull, and then they come out. And they're still a bit awkward to get out because there's a few things in the way. You just don't need to wiggle them a bit. There you go. Look, as you can see, a little bit awkward. It's going to happen. Just push them wires back, move things around, give it a little bit of a wiggle. And don't be afraid just to, to push a few things about. Just you know, there you go. There's two out. I usually check whether they need cleaning or if there's any damage. See the suction there was just holding it in. <coughs> This one was awkward as well because those other cables were in the way. There you go. It's all three out. So we can get to the spark plugs now. So this is the this last uh, challenging bit, wow. actually getting the plugs out. Because they're not very tight, but they're just a little bit awkward to get a socket in. I had to get a 6mm deep socket with a ratchet, an extension and a venti bit. You'll see. So the middle one's really easy, but the other two are slightly more challenging. Here's a six millimeter deep socket. 
in case you didn't know what one looked like. Not everyone's used a socket set before. As you see, so so far it hasn't taken really that long to do this job. You've just got to take your time, make sure you're watching and remembering where things come from, keep them together in the right order, and then put them back in the same order. messing about with the different connectors so as you can see I've got an extension on that socket put it in the middle one get your ratchet and as you see I've got a bendy bit on there just in case to make it easier to move around in there always fiddly to put on so I'm just loosening it off as you see it wasn't very tight it was just hand tight And unscrew it as far as you can go. And I was hoping that the socket, the, mic, the spark plug might come out with it, but it didn't. So I trunked it into the left hand side there for the left hand spark plug, and it wouldn't fit. So I've had to change some of my socket set into putting the bendy on the socket first, and then look for an extension to go on the top. So that's gone in okay. So as you just see, I changed the order and that seems to work for me. I have to connect it together while it's in there. But you know, you just have all these, all the different bends and extensions that helps you do it. And that's loose enough. There you go. Spark plugs loose. Then I've just got to get it out. And then we do, that should fit the other side. Yep, that goes in nice, a treat. Swap to a different socket set because I didn't think I got that one Health into your life settings, working yeah. correctly or loose enough. Yeah, there you go. Ah, that's better. Can't have been on it properly, but that helped. So, as you can see, not everything goes right first time with these this, little things like that. As I said, the trick is to take your time. Yeah, I'm just checking I've loosened them all off um, enough so I can get them out. See that one? I can't have done. <coughs> Yeah, I'm happy now. Brilliant. Just checking everything. to remove them I thought I could put a magnet tool in there but they wouldn't fit so now I've got one of these grabber tools where you push it and you have the three fingers come out and that worked a treat as you can see there's one out already so it's a bendy magnet tool it cost me one ninety nine. so here we go two got one more to go you Bad boys. There you go. Oh, I'd already got three. I hadn't spotted that. 
Good so that's the old ones out. Right. Well, getting them back together, Luke. There's one. I'll put brand new ones in. There you go. There's the nice new one. Came around the other side, just so I could see better. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Here goes the first one. Use the same socket set up, as you can see. Put them in hand tight. Do not over tighten your spark plugs because you may struggle to get them out next time if you need to change them. So hand tight first. Make sure it feels right. You don't want to thread them or anything. Be a disaster if you did. Next one, it's a bit awkward getting past those wires again, as it was getting them out. <coughs> as you can see, I'm twisting it the opposite way first to make sure I don't thread them the wrong way. Then I twist them clockwise. <coughs> so only clockwise a few turns and then clockwise to put them in. went in fairly well, fairly easily. God, that wire's keep getting in the way. <laughs> Here we go, here's the last one. And I just dropped out the socket straight into the, the hole. There we go. Twisting it anti-clockwise and then clockwise again, as you can see. Nothing difficult. Just taking my time, doing it properly. If you do the same, you wouldn't have any issues. They also thread in a lot f further than you think. There you go. So there's all three spark mm. plugs in. Boy, they just need a little bit of a tighten. So put that there with a the ratchet on, as you'd expect. Just give them a little bit of a turn. That's all you need. Any more than that is too much. So when it starts to bite, just turn it a little bit. Less is more on this. I'm really happy with that. So that's just gone really well. So it's just a reverse, put it all back together. Don't forget about the connectors. We'll put this in high speed so you can see me actually doing it. But it's exactly the same, but in reverse. Just be careful, take your time.